Hi everyone, I'm here with David Wright. David is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City, Nevada. He's at our studio there. Thanks for being here, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. All right, we're going to talk about core exercises. So first, why don't you tell us what the core is? Yeah, so Steve, the core is probably, in my opinion, as a personal trainer and as a physique athlete for the last nine years, I can tell you the core is the most important part to me um, of any part of the body. So the core is consisting of several different different places, but most time when people think of core, they think of, you know, the six pack abs in, in the front and they say, okay, that's my core. That's certainly part of it, but there are different parts. So you've got, you've got your abs that, you know, you can see at a certain level of body fat, but behind those abs, you've got your your uh, abdominus behind it as well. So there's a couple of layers here. Then you've got on the sides, you've got your obliques, which are kind of, some people call them the side abs. And I'm just like, great example, but you know, they're attached to that front. So then you also have, you know, your supporting, which would be your, your back muscles here. So when I talk about working core with clients and I do this with every client, it's always the very first thing that we do after some warm ups. I'll put in core and, and that doesn't even matter what what your goal is here, what we're trying to achieve, any of those things. My thing is you always have to have a strong core because as you know, we do different activities, whether we're you know older in age, younger in age, doesn't even matter. It's very important to have a strong core to help support the rest of the body, whether it be the upper body, your lower body, everything else, your stability, all of that depends on this this area. So it's really important to to work not only those abs, so crunches, you know, everybody thinks of crunches, but there's so many better things that you can do. The crunches are part of it. You can do those. But, you know, planks are great. Nobody likes planks that I know, of, but um, planks are really, really good. So there's a lot of things you can do to strengthen that core. And then that also happens to help relieve some, some folks in their back pain. I'm no doctor at all, but a lot of times we don't have a strong core. We do certain activities, including exercising, and then our back tries to, to shoulder that load. So Core is really important to kind of for the health uh, and the, the well-being of muscles everywhere, really. Yeah, so in general, your core is the middle of your body. Mm -hmm. And let me just emphasize on how important it is to keep your core strong, the mid part of your body, because it supports you on almost everything you do. Getting up from a chair. <laughs> And yeah. so a strong core is going to help prevent injury. One of the biggest uh, injury pre prevention um, issues would be to prevent injury to your back. Yes. So the core is important. It's, you use your core when you walk. Can you think of an exercise that you're not going to use your core at all? I mean, maybe if you're doing a flat bench, but you're still using your core at least a little bit. So you can't really say that there's anything that you do where your core is not engaged at least a little bit, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, you know, it's a great point where you have, you know, the bench in there because people might think, well, I'm laying on this bench. How's the core involved in that? Well, the core is helping your body while you're on that bench. You, you might have your your feet on the ground, you're laying back to do a, I don't know, barbell bench press. Well, your core is helping stabilize. You're bringing that bar off, right? Not only are your shoulders, your chest, you know, stabilizing, your core is also stabilizing your entire body there because if it wasn't, you know, you'd be going off to one side or the other or, you know, ripping certain muscles because then, you know, everything would be on the chest or the shoulders. So your core is constantly activated. I've had people do you know, really simple exercises where we're walking what's called a farmer carry. You know, we've got a couple of plates walking with our arms straight down, you know, not swinging them or anything, keeping them nice and straight, doing kind of a, a brisk walk forward. They're going, what is this doing? I'm walking with weights. You know, it doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot. But what it's doing is normally we're swinging our arms as we walk, you know, to, to balance and to keep us upright. Well, guess what? Now we don't have that extra piece of you know, kind of a, a balancing thing. Plus we have more weight. So now the core is having to go, okay, I'm having to activate to keep this person straight forward, standing up straight, 
And you know, all of that is activated. So there are things that we can do, but pretty much anything in the gym or in life in general, and just as a backstory, I have two herniated discs in my back. Didn't ever get surgery for them. This happened probably about 12 years ago. And one of the things that's really helped me, you know, not even really, I shouldn't say I don't ever notice it because you always have a little bit of weakness there no matter what. But, you know, I've developed a very strong core and, you know, along with those back muscles, the erectors in the back, you know, that supports that midsection of your body on all sides. So I've been able to really, um, you know, alleviate pain and, and a lot of the weakness there by getting that core, you know, a lot of muscle. Whereas if I just said, well, you know, there's nothing I can do, didn't work out, didn't do anything about it, didn't try to strengthen my core, man, I'd have all sorts of back problems. So I definitely know about when we try to get up from a chair, you know, there's a lot that's involved in that that we don't even think about until we can't do it. And so core is really, really important because like you said, it's pretty much in every movement that we do. Yeah. And, um, it, you guys put in the comment section, if you can think of anything where your core is not involved and if your core is not engaged, I mean, just standing up, if your core is not engaged, well, you're just standing there, you probably have bad posture, right? Yep. And that's usually where you'll find if people don't really, I mean, you don't even, it's one of those things like getting up from a chair and, and walking on, you know, your legs. It's one of those things we don't think of. We just do it. If we don't have our, you know, core at least engaged and even, you know, it's one of those things that's automatic. We're not going to go, oh, engage core so you can stand up. Of course not. It's going to happen. But if it's not very engaged, that's where we have the slouching and things like that because we're not, you know, making sure our posture is right. If our posture is right, then we are engaging that core. Then that core stays engaged and stays strengthened and gets used to being used. And as we don't have that core strength. That's where a lot of times barring other medical conditions, of course, but where we start kind of seeing kind of the slumping, you know, and that, and that back bending here because we don't have the support. So now we've got the back that's kind of taking the brunt. And then of course, what takes the brunt after that, the lower back, because it's getting strained. So, so, so important. Yeah. And the last thing I'll ask is like, you know, we know you can do sit-ups and stuff like that, but any other ideas, you mentioned planks, any other thing that you can think of that would, is a benefit for working your core? Yeah. So I'm, you know, my number one answer is always planks, but there are a lot of great things. For instance, um, if you're able to do squats, now squats, people think I'm going to put a big old bar on my back and I'm going to, you know, be working on my legs and my glutes and all this stuff. And that's true you know, one version of squats, there's so many different versions, even if you had no weight whatsoever, you know, you just use your own body weight, you have no dumbbells, no kettlebells, nothing. And you're doing squat in the proper form. So you know, you're keeping a nice neutral spine, you're utilizing everything you should utilize. Again, that's why a trainer is great, because we can show you those things and how to safely do it. Um, that's a, that's a great core exercise, because what's keeping you from toppling over this way, or you know, some other way, your core. And when you're going down into that squat movement, that's really, really engaged to be able to help keep you upright and keep everything going the way that it should go during that movement. That's a great thing. Um, and it's something that doesn't require any equipment. You know, you can just do that with your own body weight. Yeah. And there's, you know, you can do knee ups and oh yeah, all, all kinds of things. So you guys can do a quick search on core exercises and find a whole bunch of things that you can do for your core, but it's really important. And you're always using your core. I guess you're right. You're always strengthening your core because you're always using it. And that's why it takes a little bit more when people look at it and they go, well, whatever their goal is, I want a six pack. I want this. I want that. I want to strengthen my core. Great. You know, we use it all the time. So one of the things we have to do in order to strengthen it even more is to challenge it beyond our, our standing, sitting, things that we do naturally and don't even think about it. So that's why it's great to, you know, look at the different core exercises that are out there, you know, try some of them out, come to the gym. We'll do that with a trainer for you, things like that. But always try to challenge that core so it gets even stronger so it can help support you. Yeah. And last thing, we can't really demonstrate what um, a plank is, but you guys can Google it or whatever. Uh, and see what a plank is. And it's a, it's an kind of an isolation, uh, uh, isometric 
uh, exercise, but they've been very popular. Planks started started getting popular, what, maybe 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so, David, uh, you're getting ready for a show. Uh, if people want to follow you on social media, see what's going on, how do they do that? Yeah, so about four weeks out right now, they can go on to Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness, and that's where I have my personal transformations, fitness journey, my contest prep that I'm doing right now, some updates on that. And then also uh, at Wright Fitness Training on Instagram, where I have personal training, boot camp, stuff like that. All right, David, thanks for being with us. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks, Steve.